Hello my dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today I have an ambitious goal of teaching you 100 American phrases. These phrases are for everybody who is already intermediate and above in their English language. So if you're interested, get ready, get your exercise books and write those phrases down, repeat with me. It's gonna be a very intensive class today, a very intensive video. Let's go. Back to San Francisco. Our minds may change. Phrase number one, stay out of trouble. Don't get anything that could lead to problems. Stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble. Another way of saying that is to say, don't do anything I wouldn't do. So when you are in a situation, think what I would do in that situation and do the same thing. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> you're pushing your luck means you're taking too many risks and you might fail because of that. You're pushing your luck. You have your head in the clouds, which means that you are not seeing the situation in a whole and you do not see the risks. Like you're just walking across the road and not watching right and left. You have your head in the clouds. Get your head out of the clouds and back in the water where it belongs. Let me know. This is when you had a conversation and you need additional information. You can say, let me know when you get it. By the way, these phrases are American, but of course you can hear them anywhere in the world in an English speaking country, but many of them are very specific to where I am right now and that's the United States. Get back to me means respond to me. Can you get back to me on this question later? Uh, get back to me. Get real. It means when somebody's dreaming about something and you know it's not gonna happen, you can tell him, get real, be realistic. Let's get down to business. You gather together with your company and you're just discussing, 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 and you're like, let's start working. Let's get down to business. It was like pulling teeth. And if it was a really tough day, you can say it was like pulling teeth. It was like pulling teeth. Good to know. This phrase can be used in two contexts. Context number one, it's really important to you. You want the information and you thank somebody who gave it to you. It's good to know. Um, it's good to know that Washington DC is the capital of the United States. But the second option of using this phrase is when somebody is, for example, moving into a new apartment and you're really jealous, you can say, eh, good to know, huh. uh, which means I wish I didn't know that. When you don't know the answer, you can say, who knows? When nobody cares about something, you can say, who cares? Like, there is nobody who would care about this situation. Who do you think you are? Oops. <laughs> Somebody is acting in an impolite way and thinks he's allowed to do that, you can say, who do you think you are? And there is the son. Who do you think you are? Running around and leaving scars. scars Collecting a jar of hearts Who do you think you are? One of my favorite ones, jar of hearts. Who asked you? Which means no one asked you. Sit down and relax. Who asked you? Who asked you? I'd like to pick your brain. Uh, this is a phrase that a lot of investors use when we meet them. They're like, I'd like to pick your brain on your marketing strategy, which means I want to know more about your marketing strategy. Keep me posted. This is a phrase that we heard a lot from investors when we just started fundraising and we thought that they're really interested and they want to hear back from us. In the reality, it means we're not interested. Keep us posted is a kind way of saying that. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, this is a phrase that you can use when you cannot give the answer straight away and you need to do some research. Keep you posted. I spoke too soon. A phrase that means that you didn't do your background check or you haven't checked the answer and gave a wrong one too fast without really checking. Keep them on their toes means don't let them relax. Make them work hard. I am sorry for the mix up. Uh, you can say this phrase when you are apologizing for um, confusing something. Wait, don't tell me. When somebody wants to tell you the news but you already kind of know what he's going to talk about and you want to guess, you can say, wait, don't tell me. Wait, don't tell me. I'd be happy to help is a polite way of offering your help. You get what you pay for. This is when you get a cheap good or a cheap 
piece of cloth and it's really bad quality, you can say you get what you pay for. Right this way. This is a very common phrase. Somebody comes to visit you and you have a party in your living room and you say, right this way, please. The party is there. I can't keep up means you have so much work, you're tired and you are falling behind. I can't keep up. Put yourself in my shoes. Imagine my point of view. Like if you were me, what would you do? Put yourself in my shoes. Put yourself in my shoes. I have too much time on my hands, which means I have too much free time. Maybe you could give me some extra work. Basically, you can use this phrase with anything. Time, work, to have too much of something in your hands. Another way of saying that, I have a lot on my plate. When you're overloaded with tasks, you can say, I have a lot on my plate. Give me a break. Stop being so rude. Stop being so rigid. You can say, give me a break. Give me a break. When somebody is punishing himself for doing the wrong thing, you can say, stop being so hard on yourself. Relax, you didn't do anything wrong. When you want to inquire how is something going, you are wondering how is everything with something. How's your family going? How's your work going? How's your hobby going? This is a very common question. Have you heard the good news? Something great happened and you want to share it. Have you heard the good news? Push back the appointment means postpone the appointment. For example, you need to change the timing. Uh, you're asking, can I please push back the appointment? When somebody is making a lot of excuses for not doing the work on time, you can say, I don't want to hear that. Mm -mm. I don't want to hear your excuses. I want the result. I'm losing it. I'm going crazy. I'm losing it. Uh, you can hear this phrase a lot in different songs. It means I'm going crazy. There is too much that I can handle. Oh man, I'm losing it. I've lost my touch. I'm not as good as I used to be. I've lost my touch in... I don't know, you can talk about work. I've lost my touch in typing. <laughs> I'm typing too slow now. I haven't kept in touch with them means you haven't talked to somebody for a while. Stay in touch is a great way to finish a conversation. Uh, means you want to hear back from that person. Please stay in touch. You look like a deer in headlights, which means you're so scared. You're just standing and you're frozen because you're scared. You look like a deer in headlights. <laughs> deer in the headlights look. Can I take a message? This is something I hear all the time when I call my doctor's office and he's not there. Um, the secretary asks, can I take a message for your doctor? And another phrase, they're out of office right now, which means they walked away, they're at lunch or they have a meeting, they're out of office right now. Or another way to say that is, they're not available at the moment. If you're looking to work as a secretary in an English speaking country, make sure you're writing these phrases down. They're not available at the moment. Don't push me. You can use this phrase if somebody makes you angrier and angrier with stupid comments or whatever. Don't push me. Good! Don't That's push good. me! Don't be so quick to judgment. Another common phrase when somebody is judging people too fast without digging into the facts, you can use this phrase. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, maybe you just had a meeting and you think uh, they're not gonna take your offer. You can say, I have a bad feeling about this. On the other hand, when you just applied for a university and you think they're gonna accept you, you can say, I have a good feeling about this. I think they're gonna accept me. I can't imagine. This phrase is used when something is really awesome or something is above your imagination because it's huge. You're like, I can't imagine. I, I can't imagine. A little birdie told me. It means there is a rumor or something you've heard, maybe unconfirmed, but you can use this phrase. A little birdie told me you're moving to Los Angeles, for example. A little birdie told me. Make time for something means fit it into your schedule. I'll make time for yoga tomorrow. Let me see how I can move the things around. Yesterday I was in a call with a UCLA representative and I asked him um, to have a meeting on Monday and he said he's fully booked, but he said, let me see how I can move things around. Uh, maybe he would have time on the schedule to meet me on Monday. Look out is another way of saying be careful. And Please learn a lot of these phrases because they can diversify your speech. Uh, instead of saying, oh, that's great, oh, that's good, or like, be careful, use the phrases that I'm giving you in this video. Think fast. 
If you're playing a game and somebody on your team is taking a lot of time to make a decision and the time is running out, you're like, think fast, think fast. Think fast. Loosen up is a way of saying relax. Loosen up. Put something on hold. This can be used in two situations. First, when you call somebody and somebody puts you on hold and asks you to wait. This is situation number one. Can I put you on hold? Uh, second situation is when you have something and you cannot continue doing this because uh, you will do it later. You are putting this on hold. You can't be serious. It's another way of saying you're kidding me. You can't be serious. When somebody uh, wants to surpass you in the street, you can say, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Please continue walking, uh, surpass me. It's no big deal. When uh, somebody pushes you in the street and uh, starts excusing himself, you can say, it's no big deal, no worries. Will do is a short way of confirming you're gonna do something somebody asked you. Can you finish this by tomorrow? Will do. Don't put me on the spot. Imagine that wife and husband are having an argument in front of their guests and later in that evening um, the wife tells the husband don't put me on the spot means don't tell me off in front of a lot of people. Watch where you're going. Somebody walks in the street and there's a dog poop <laughs> and you don't want them to hit it. Watch where you're going. Watch where you're going. What can I do for you? Is a very common phrase. Somebody walks in the office and you're asking what's the reason for their visit? What can I do for you? It's out of my hands, which means you have no control over the situation. It's out of my hands. Somebody else is making decision. Hands off. Don't touch it. Hands off. Another way of saying wait or hold on is hang tight. Just wait. Hang tight for a couple of days. Hurry up means be quick. Come on, move faster, let's do it. Hurry up, hurry up. Keep my head above water means you're doing just enough to survive. This can also be used when you're talking about your job. I'm keeping my head above water means you're doing everything, but you're almost failing. Get out of your comfort zone. This is something I tell you all the time. Get out of your comfort zone, talk to native speakers, feel stressed, but this will help you improve a lot. This means do something uncomfortable for you. I can't get the sun out of my head. Very common phrase. You, you have the situation, right? When sun is playing all the time in your head. I can't get that song out of my head. I can't put a face to the name. When you don't remember how the person looks like, but you remember his name, I can't put a face to the name. I have some money burning a hole in my pocket. Very rare situation, but this is when you have money that you want to spend. You're playing both sides. This is a phrase that is used to describe situation when somebody is agreeing with this person and that person and cannot make his own mind. You're playing both sides. No, 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 you're playing both sides. We need to talk. And this really means we need to talk. And this phrase means we need to talk about a bad topic. Maybe you failed or uh, maybe you did something wrong. We need to talk. You're killing the mood. Imagine five friends, everyone's having fun and just one guy is like complaining, uh, feeling not happy and bringing the mood down in the whole company. She's just kind of killing the mood. You're killing the mood. That guy is killing the mood. You went too far. It means that you offended somebody and uh, that was like too much. You went too far. I'm flattered. When somebody gives you a compliment, you can say, I'm flattered. Thank you so much. Uh, I feel really good about it. I'm feeling under the weather. That's another way of saying I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling under the weather. You win some, you lose some. This is an expression used to uh, cheer somebody up after a failure. Cause yeah, there are bad things and there are good things and there are good things and bad things as well. Did you get it? So even when you lose, there are good things. Uh, so the expression is you win some, you lose some. Please have a seat. For example, you came to get your American visa or you have an appointment, oh, you have an interview in the university and you come and the receptionist tells you, please have a seat. Please have a seat. Which means sit down and wait for your appointment. Living beyond your means means spending too much money, spending more than you can have. One of the phrases that I really like, please excuse us, very American when you just want to leave the room, but you don't want to say, oh, I have to go and do this, this and that. You're like, please excuse us. And you just go and people know that you had to go. 
you're all over the place. This is a phrase used to describe a person who's doing this, this and that and that and cannot decide uh, what he really wants to do. He's all over the place. I have no idea. This is a stronger expression than I don't know. Like, where is your bag? I have no idea. Why are you asking me that? I have no idea. When something is wrong, you can say, I think there must be some kind of mistake. A very common phrase in a lot of TV shows everywhere. I think there must be some kind of mistake. I think this is wrong. Don't play dumb with me. It means don't pretend that I don't know something. I have faith in you. I have faith in you, my darling. I have faith in you guys. You can do it. You can learn all of the phrases. You can watch this video two times, three times, write things down, repeat with me but you can do this, I have faith in you. These are really common phrases and when you watch TV shows and movies, you will notice that. Get your head in the game. Please be focused, please concentrate on what's going on. Get your head in the game. Living the dream means that somebody has everything like beautiful car, beautiful wife, uh, vacations, private jet. For example, living the dream. I'm living the dream. You pulled a fast one on me. You tricked me. I don't know, just somebody made a joke on you and you didn't get it uh, and somebody laughed at you. You pulled a fast one on me. I want nothing to do with it. You don't want to deal with the situation and you want somebody else to do that. I want nothing to do with it. I don't want anything to do with it. Okay. I'm washing my hands of this whole situation is another way of saying that you want to do nothing with a situation. It's up to you to subscribe to this channel but I really encourage you guys to do that. The red button is below. He won't hurt a fly, an expression used to describe a person who won't do anything bad. He won't hurt a fly. We're short on time. We're short on time. Which means we don't have a lot of time left. Uh, yes, I promised uh, 100 phrases in under 20 minutes to make it a really compact and really intense class, intense video. So yes, we're short on time. I'm actually finishing up the video. I think I'll pass is a polite way of saying no. I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass. So glad you can make it. This is my last phrase. I'm so glad you can make it, guys. I'm so glad you're still watching this video. Means you now know 100 phrases in English that are commonly used in America. I'm very proud of you. Please let me know what is your current level of English because I want to know if you understand everything that I'm saying or not. I will leave a link below uh, to a free test. Uh, please feel free to take it, just 30 questions. That would let you know where are you with your language and let me know the results below. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, the red button is below. If you're still watching this video and if you enjoy the content, don't forget to like. Uh, it's very important for me to hear and see your reaction. And I'll see you in the next videos. Let's keep in touch. Bye. Bye.